Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new MotoGP24 video. Now today's question is, does anyone actually play Moto E? I've recently started recording my Moto3 season championship mode and when I was picking the rider and stuff like that, I noticed the Moto E category and I had a quick look through it and I was thinking I've not played these since they first came into the MotoGP games back in 2017. Even back then I only think I played for them like a couple laps just to see how they handle and yeah, now we're here in 2024 and I decided it is time to actually try them out and see what they're like. And after a couple of test runs, they're heavily flawed, as well as I've learned some more about these bikes. I know very little about them. I don't watch them. I don't follow them uh, in terms of the actual series as well. But we're going to jump into this one right here at Austria. It is a five lap race. And yeah, let's get into it. So as you can tell, nice and quiet here on the grid. Also very cool. We have like a sunset kind of sun going down. Obviously no gears. Really silent until that noise. Sounds like a jet engine starting up. It's quite scary. <laughs> uh, we've no rear brake. Rear brake on the Ducati. Well, they're all Ducati, but the Moto E bike is bound back to the the um, the battery. It's like a, I suppose, a Magdo electronic rear brake that's used by the battery. So you don't have control over your own rear brake. You only have a throttle and a front brake. So you have no gears either. So I want you to basically count how many times I press my rear brake, which is RB on my controller. That button that you see flashing there. Because it does nothing. And also X and B on my controller and my up and down shifts. Of course we have no gears. It's just such a muscle memory. I can't kind of get out of the habit of doing it. Also, there's only one front brake for these bikes. In the options. And it is terribly bad for overheating. So, we'll do, in a couple of seconds you will see. I'm going to get the temperatures up on the screen on the side. Just see it there now. So we're at 1200 degrees at the moment. We'll be in the 1500s in a second. Because it just overheats straight away. And you... Can't really get any temperature out of it that easily. Uh, with no rear brake, there's no other way you, you can see there again. Oh, sure what happened in there, but with no rear brake, you can't really influence the bike in any other way in terms of trying to get the bike to pivot. They're very heavy. Now, they are very heavy in real life, I do know this, but they're so heavy and lethargic. And with them being fully electric, there's a massive tar curve where the first tap of the trial usually is quite aggressive. Now, they actually move around quite a bit, unlike the, I suppose, the GP bikes. I suppose I haven't done enough with the Moto 2 bikes to see if they're like that. Something I will be doing in the next coming uh, weeks and months is a another season mode like I'm doing with the Moto 3. Probably as the time this video goes out, you wouldn't have seen the first episode of the Moto 3 season, but Moto 3 and Moto 2 is coming. Uh, the whole purpose of that is just because we got the, the uh, 2024 skins the tires are gonna crash there and i might as well use it because i said at the start of the game i didn't want to go into motor 3 with last year's kind of rider skins and stuff like that so this is us coming back through but when i saw that and i said john let's try out motor e now i don't know if i'll ever do a championship on this let me know in the comments if you'd like to see like a, a mini championship in motor gp24 on these bikes they're pretty they're good and bad i feel like there's a not as like a, a very little skill gaps just because there's no brake uh, rear brake that is and there's no gears and you kind of just pin it and hang on and go it's and uh, i wouldn't say my front brake technique is kind of good enough for these bikes i really rely on engine braking and the rear brake and the way i downshift to get the bike into the corner rotate and turned so me just using front brake it just feels so much worse for me as you can see i'm still gonna naturally i'm nearly just tapping the rear brake ever hoping that i get a bit of a bit of rear brake assistance but unfortunately we're not going to get that We've kind of fell into a bit of a, a lonely race here in Austria. And you can see brake temperature up at nearly 1600 degrees. And uh, one of the issues with this game is we have the hard front tyre in. And once the brake temperature stays up, we're going to absolutely shred this hard tyre. So at the moment, the, uh, the bikes are probably not taken care of too well in terms of they're not probably uh, tested enough before they're put into the game. Obviously, they're always kind of brought in late in the game. See there again, the front tyre is just getting a bit hot now from that brake temperature. And even with these long straights, we still really can't get the temperature down. We are going to get past here, I believe. So end up when you get really hot brakes, it's just you get a bit of a long lever, what it would be known in the industry. And uh, brake temperatures go up through the roof and the braking temperatures just create so much heat that you cannot actually get any performance. So you end up just kind of running along ever. So at the moment we're trying to brake gently. And uh, you can see you've gone above 1600 and the game doesn't even go above that temperature. So we have basically in two laps here at Spielberg in Austria, we have wrecked our front brakes, and yeah, as soon as it goes more than 1600, the game's like, yeah, man, we, we can't be counting that. Uh, unfortunately, as we get out of here, you can see now we're losing a lot of positions. We're behind World Superbike race winner, Mr. Spinelli. 
again, look. The temperature comes down about 100, 150 degrees. Like, I'm full on the brake, tipping in, tipping in, I've no rear brake, and, ugh. They're, uh, an interesting bit of kit, you can see run off track there. I'm not really sure how I'd even do a season on these, because I'd say it'd be near on, near on impossible, because you've no other options for a front brake disc. So, it's a uh, massively flawed. Now, this probably wasn't the best track. In my head, for some reason, I was thinking, oh, heavy braking, but long straights would, be, would help out, but clearly that hasn't really worked out in my favour. I would have been better staying at other tracks like Catalonia Mizano. I got great run here. I'm gonna go to the outside, go to the inside of this fella. Nope, I'm not gonna get it. And up the inside comes one of the forward bikes. A regular overtake, so I must have off the track or something. But there you go, there's your position back. Well, things you don't really see. But if you gave me a rear brake and a good front brake, I'd actually think these are half bad to ride. But penultimate lap time, goal really is just to finish. One of the big issues I have with this game as well is the front brake and just in general that when you're hard on the front brake you're not really able to maneuver the bike around the way you want to. And for me that is even more of an issue when you only have a front brake like we do here in Motor E. But brake temperature is still nowhere near. And every time I brake I just feel like either one I'm going to crash or two I'm going to just run on into the game in front of me and then crash. So I was doing a little practice race a while ago with these bikes at this track and I managed to get my whole front tyre completely red just from the brake temperatures now. I've been slightly learning how to ride these bikes, I said that then and do this. But uh, I managed not to destroy the front tyre but we're hanging in here in P9. It's pumping, it doesn't return either. Oh we're down, we're down, oh no we're not. Lucas Tulovic. Ooh, Mr. Spinelli way out there. The AI even seems to struggle with riding these bikes, which I find quite funny. Just shows kind of that they're a little bit broken in this game. I did a quick race at Mizan just to see when I was first trying them out, and so many long laps, so many crashes, so many people running on, so they're, uh, they're not well optimized for these conditions. They obviously can't really deal with the fact they have only a front brake as well. Well, as we start the last lap here in P10. Can Zanoni get up into the top positions? Probably not. Even the engine braking on... Oh, that's a crash. Oh, I got lucky there. Even the engine braking on 5, there's just not enough pull. Chaz Davis. Mad that he's in this class. I have to break deep, but like you just have very little of anything to pull you down. I just feel like they're, the racing on these bikes is very 2D. You can't really set up moves. You can't really set up overtaking. Can't really leave the brake off because I'll just kill everyone in front of me. Pretty much in every class I feel like I'm better than the uh, my competitors in this game but not on these motor e-bikes. Obviously I must brake in a certain way that just allows me to get the bike stopped in shorter distance but I clearly use the engine braking and gearing and the rear brake so much now. I know especially in career mode with the KTM I love my rear brake and not giving it to me here is really creating issues but we're going to Maybe try something on the old Wenchman in front into the penultimate car. No, not. No, not. Stay on track, stay on track, stay on track, stay on track. Alright, we'll be lucky here to score anything. Lunge. Oh, that was a bad idea. It's again, someone in front has gone wide in this long corner. Good, good drive out here. Not really weird to do on into the penultimate corners. I would love to try something into the last corner, but just can't really do anything. No. Just you're really kind of handicapped with it, really. You're just restricted. You can see now my front tires, and I'm starting to try and push it as absolutely blown up. But yeah, that was a weird and wonderful race, I must say. These motor bikes are heavily flawed, and I must say it's just overall a weird experience to ride them in game. Let me know if yourselves, if anyone actually plays these. And I can't imagine anyone. Does, I don't, can you even do it in career mode? I don't think you can sign for them in career mode, but I can't imagine anyone really want to. Um, I suppose most people's aspirations in these games is get to the, the top level right for Honda, right for Ducati, Yamaha, whatever it is, and become world champion in MotoGP class. I don't think many people want to become Moto E champion. Could be wrong. But let me know in the comments. I just said I'd make a quick video. Just see what they're like. Because, again, I haven't played them in about seven, eight years, really. And I thought um, every year they get added in. I'm just, every year when I see the update, I'm like... Is, I know they kind of have to be in the GP game because there is 
or classes these days in Grand Prix racing, but I just think to myself, really, is it necessary? Does anyone play it? But yeah, let me know in the comments if you do enjoy these bikes, if you play them, and if you want to see me do a full championship on them, which will be hell. But of course, for the YouTubes, I will attain it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you in another video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Slog of all.